Right, one of my best tools that I bought this year is undoubtedly the um, lightweight octypropane gas torch set that I bought on eBay. It's a really excellent tool and I've been using it a lot for um, repair work and also um, brazing up tooling or whatever. Today I'd just like to show you some special nozzles that you can get for these um, lightweight um, torches that mimic the oxyacetylene. And the only place that I've seen um, that you can buy these nozzles is uh, from this company here, Welding Direct Co.UK, Nozzles Limited. You can see there that it's the same lightweight nozzle as the ordinary type, but this one here has an extra bit added with a hollow in the end so that the um, flame which is a very hot flame and a forced flame will not um, blow out from the end and go out. So this is a screenshot of the nozzles on the company page and on that page it says the company made these nozzles because of popular demand and they developed a range of nozzles with sizes that have been formulated to flow at the same rate as the acetylene versions. And this means a size 1 is still a size 1. Because of this the larger propane tips have an additional piece added to them. They say we have designed the tip to be easy to use and still remain free from a tip which is too large that could obscure the view of the work. The design of the nozzle enables concentrated forcing flame to be set without the flame blowing off the tip. And I found them absolutely excellent nozzles for heating up larger pieces of work really quickly. They're the best nozzles that I've actually used for that. And being like a forced flame there, it's the closest thing that you'll actually get to oxyacetylene. And I don't think there's many people that actually um, weld with oxyacetylene anymore. So this is a great alternative and it's much cheaper to run being oxypropane and obviously much safer. So now I'll go out into the workshop and give a demonstration of this chuck key handle being brazed up. And you'll see the intensity of that forced flame and why I think they're so good. So I'm using the Easy Flow um, Johnson Matthey um, flux powder for brazing and um, what I do is mix up um, a quantity in a jar like this and then after use I can just leave the lid on. If it does dry out it doesn't matter because you can um, re-wet it and mix it again and it saves um, wasting a lot.
So that's the job finished. I got a reasonably good braise around that one. And after I cleaned it up, I put it back in the vise and then heated it up with an ordinary blow torch or gas torch until it was blue. And then I dropped it into a can of oil and that gives it a rust protective finish.